correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, we're not in best of five territory yet, are we? We're not. I I don't know. I it's I don't it's, know it's, it's I'm 99 sure it's for the final. finals. Regardless, it's a run back. <laughs> it's gonna be a good set. Web JP, I feel like every time he faced so many bracketalism and winners, he comes back and losers with a vengeance. Dude be angry. It I'm was excited to see also what, close. Yeah, exactly. It was a game three scenario. I mean, he made a tweet about saying that Mark is a top 50 player when he lands his nines. So I'm assuming he got hit by nine. Oh, that was a four. Bro, that, that, that was, was almost nine. That was one nine right line away from a nine. That would have been hilarious. I would have lost my mind, and uh, I would have deemed Marcus the automatic winner of UJ. Everybody else go home. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. Dude! And, uh, no nine required. No, sir. Up smash. Hit him with the helmet, you know? Yeah, man. Doing his thing very, very well. Marcus doing a really good job of baiting Webb into these situations and then fighting punches on the platform. He's again, just adopting the one thing. Sheik is light, and Game Watch does a hell of a lot of damage. Comes it up into a nair once again. Webb just trying to play around. <gasps> Game Watch trying to catch him, being a little aggressive. Rolling past that F smash. That was almost so close, and I have to almost guarantee that would have taken a stop. Bro, Webb is going hard in the paint right now. He wants this flat 2D character dead and done. But you know what? It's a little bit hard to do as Marcus has just been doing a really good job of keeping it safe. But it don't matter. The needles up smash right there. Beautiful job by Webb JP in that close quarters right there to find the stock. But now, got to find a little bit more damage because it's a little bit hard to do against Game & Watch where he's just able to turtle and play safe a lot of the time. Oh, yeah. And I think, again, like we are saying earlier, the thing Webb's able to do really, really well pressure you from under the platform. Marcus spends so many of these sets sitting on top of the battlefield platforms, waiting for someone to make a mistake and approach Game Watch. Web JP coming from under. Can't go up through it. Can't go over it. We gotta go under it. We gotta keep the pressure coming from underneath the roots. Of course, Marcus, again, locking down the ledge very, very well. The last couple sets, man, this edge guarding from Game Watch has been on point. Yes, sir. Turtle has come out and wrecked stocks, but you know what? Web JP, really good job stalling out there, and now it is his turn to put on some of this pressure right now. As a 74%, we are getting a little bit close to what could be a kill, especially, oh, the raindrop not connecting. That might have been it. You know what? Marcus just a little bit light with that Game & Watch right there. And uh, they've got another shot at uh, securing a stock, and they do so with that forward air. Very good stuff to Marcus. Been doing a really good job of playing his game and of course just catching Webb getting a little too comfortable. But speaking of Webb being comfortable, man, he's confirmed. He's able to, the way he's able to delete these stocks. Because yeah, I didn't just cut out the issue that most of the people out there think that Sheik has of not being able to take a stocks consistently. Webb JP saying that's not that's not real. That's not a real issue. Who are you? And speaking Ooh. of real issues, those smash attacks are most certainly two big issues. Yes, sir. That down smash should just be able to cover whatever air dodge was there. There was a option to maybe go for an air, but it's so scary to trade against Game & Watch in those scenarios. But right here, boom, we get the up B, and then we're going to see the uh, Sheik Needles. Oh my gosh, the B reverse to find that. That was so good. Webb's movement inside of neutral has been so good, but just not quite enough when it came down to it. Marcus was able to seal out with that air dodge. Boom, down smash, up smash. You gotta be so careful around Game & Watch, and you know, sometimes it feels like a checkmate. Oh yeah. That's the, that's the thing about fighting Game & Watch, right? If you can be so consistent on your, in your advantage state and fighting the damage and stocks exactly when you need to, it's just the issue of the second you make said mistake. Game & Watch is confirmed to taking stocks are so huge and so quick like up special out of shield is the fine down smash like naren to nine which sounds like a bit but i promise the amount of times this guy finds it it's not a joke guys it's real it is a serious thing so many it's real. lives have been it's lost real. so it's many real. lives have I been lost i swear to god it's real don't you ever call me a liar i know you viewers sitting there nah momo come on 
Game & Watch 9, that's not a real thing. Get over yourself. I want a handwritten apology. Anyways, you didn't take it away. Please, I'm heated. Dude, Marcus going in deep on these judgments, just trying to send Webb into the Shadow Realm back to back. And you know what, Webb struggling now to find some footing here as this Game & Watch is turning up the heat. And uh, this is a big thing. You want to get, you want to get that run back and win it. Well, Marcus has just played so solid tonight and really showing you why they are a PR player. Yeah, man, Marcus is locking it down so well. Here comes the uppers coming out once again. I'm telling you, brother, there's something in the water in New Jersey. The second someone makes it onto somewhere on the New Jersey PR, either their ego through goes through the roof or their skill frex side or something. Because Marcus is playing, like, he's playing like the best player in the world right now, man. But here comes Web JP having absolutely none of that. As I say that, taking the words <laughs> right out of my mouth. Here goes Needle into Up Smash. He's literally, I think he's found, like, every stock so far with Needle into Up Smash. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. It's been consistent. And it's also been B-reverse Needles into Up Smash every time. Which is wild <laughs> that we could get that specific every for every kill so far. But, you know what? Webb, on the bright side, not really struggling to find stocks overall as Sheik, and right now, just trying to find damage as he drops his stock, and this is getting a bit of a problem as Marcus continues to just open up this lead, and now we got a little bit of a chase down with the Nairs too. Those goldfishes, you gotta be careful because they are carnivorous. Good word, carnivorous? That's yeah. a good word, yeah. Thank you. We'll come back to that later. <laughs> that was special. <laughs> Coming out. Marcus holding his advantage day very, very well. Lapping web in percentage here. The web looking to take this, these heights to absolutely new levels. Marcus trying to get back down here from this platform. The upstash out of shield doing him dividends against Sheik. Web just struggling to get back in against this game and watch, man. Here comes the forward air once again, too. Oh, the needles Ooh. come out. Not going to find the confirm there, unfortunately. Now Marcus sitting here in the center of the stage once again. Waiting for Webb to make a mistake. At 69%, Sheik is at death percentage. This but speaking of death percentage, mm. up air drag down on the side of the platform into F Smash is gross. Truly, second time we've seen him hit it in sets back to back, too. And uh, Web JP, you can't give him the room to breathe otherwise. You give him an inch, he'll take a mile. And look at this right now. Boom, we got the up air straying away into the back airs, and all of a sudden, Web JP. Feeling pretty good right now, and just keeping this aggression going. Love to see it. Oh yeah, man. WebJP trying to stay in this tournament as long as he can. Fighting for his life here. But Marcus here locking down with the bacon again. Comes the up special out of shield. Forward air comes out there on the platform. I thought he died. I was very I... scared. But Web still able to hang on here. Comes the F to be able to shield that just fine at 140. Almost max rage. If there's any time to do to pull off a comeback, it's now. Now or literally never. Dude, it is getting so it's scary. Never. The shield pet pressure never. paying off for Marcus right there. Wow. That you could tell that Webb was in absolute fear at what Marcus was packing. Back to back, just landing on the shield, putting the pressure with the bombs, with the turtles, and then just being ready knowing that Webb wanted to get out of there and boom, pop the chair right then and there. Yeah, man, that's the thing. The, the way that Marcus plays is just opting for that aerial game most of the set, right? Constantly like forward air, back air, forward air, up air, forward air, nair. Second you land, bam, F tilt, bam, down to mat. You're expecting these aerials. I finally got some time to breathe. I finally get a chance, WAP9. <laughs> I finally have a time to Dang. play the game. Wah. That's it. It's gone. Yes, sir. You can't be shielding that close at that percentage. Because you know Marcus has one thing in mind, and it is filthy. But uh, there's one of those B-reverse needle up smash kills. WebJP was on it for those. Yeah, man. WebJP played this game very, very well. But unfortunately, Marcus just had the counter to that game. No matter how well somebody's playing, if you play the antithesis to somebody's game, done. Like the sets that comes to mind specifically, and it's all it also fits here very, very well, given that we just watched Game Watch, 
was Lay versus Meister at Smash Con 2020. 